What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my kitchen. So I was just looking through my fridge and I noticed my chicken that I had bought a few days ago was about to expire. So the last thing I want to do is waste money and throw all that chicken away. So I'm going to go ahead and prep it right now. I figured why not save my camera and make a video for those of you that might not know the best way, in my opinion, to prep chicken in bulk. So if you guys are ready to see my method, then I'm ready to show you. Let's do it! All right, guys, let me give you a little rundown of everything you're gonna need. So, I have myself a cutting board here, a pair of meat shears. Now, if you've never used these before, it's way faster than using a knife and cutting them. I'm telling you, this has sped up the process of meal prep so much. So, get yourself a pair of these if you don't have them yet. I recommend them, 10 out of 10, Remington James Fitness Reviews. <laughs> and then we also got a little bowl here. Now, this is for our crock pot, and I'll show you how that works later, but we're gonna place the chicken as we trim it in here. I have two, about roughly five pound packs of chicken here. This is enough chicken to last for probably six or seven days. So six or seven days worth of meals here we'll be able to prep. That's eating two chicken meals a day. And then we also have two, some black pepper. We got some ground cumin and we got some zesty garlic and herb seasonings. We're gonna hit the chicken with low in sodium, healthy, give it a little bit of flavor. So let's get started. All right guys, so first thing we're gonna do, we got our cutting board here, meat shears. I'm gonna open up our pack of chicken and grab a piece out of here. Now, just so I can show you the parts I'm gonna be trimming off are gonna be any of these white pieces here. So we're gonna be cutting these off. Now the way we're cooking it, we don't gotta chunk it or anything. Basically what I recommend is we're just gonna go around the outside and trim off all the fat here. So you can leave it on if you want, um, but I find that there's gristle and stuff included too. When you go to cook it, you can get one of them gross bites <laughs> that'll uh, turn you off from the entire meal. So I recommend trimming it all off. Plus two, when you're calculating macros, especially if you're weighing cooked chicken breast, you can uh, drastically cut down on that fat content. So we're gonna go in here and start our trimming process. Nice and easy. Just go around the outside, hit all the necessary spots, and give her a look over. Nice, okay, so this is what a trimmed piece of chicken is going to look like. So check that out. A lot of that white that was around the edge is now gone, and for the most part, we have a pretty fat-free chicken breast here. So once it's done, all I do is I take it and place it in my crock pot bowl. So I'm gonna go through, trim up the rest of these pieces of chicken, and I'll be back. And I'll go ahead and give you another view. That way we can make sure we get this good. So I got another piece of chicken here, and then let me show you once again what we're doing. So you see these white pieces here. This is what we're trimming off. So I'm gonna go in here and boom, right? Trim that off, go in here. Trim that off. Now, some people are a little more particular than I am. If I see like a piece, I'm just gonna go ahead and trim it. Um, you know, you might lose a little bit of chicken that way, but chicken's so cheap, I don't really think it matters in my opinion. So we're getting in here. Nice, okay. This is just about done. Checking for any extra pieces. And I think that's it. So this is another trimmed piece here, right? Just pure chicken, we don't have any fat, no gristle, nothing on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it place it in our crock pot bowl. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and finish all this up and then I will be back and we will keep the show rolling. All right guys, so at this point, all the chicken is trimmed. Let me show you what the next step is. So as you can see, we have some scraps here. There's also some in the trash can as well, but it's all of our chicken is trimmed and it is in the crock pot. So it's roughly, like I said, about 10 pounds in there. Now we're gonna start off, I got my black pepper here. All I'm gonna do is go in and add some of that to it. And then I'll also go in and grab my salt-free seasonings. You can find these just about at any store. So it's basically a Mrs. Dash ripoff. There we go, about the same flavor, just a little cheaper. So this is what I'm using here. Add some good flavor without really messing up your sodium levels too much. I don't think sodium is bad for you in general, but um, if your fitness goals are to look lean, then uh, I find when I have too much of it, it just makes me look puffy and bloated. So we're also gonna add some ground cumin as well. Awesome for flavor here. I wouldn't add too much of it, but just enough to go in here. And you gotta keep in mind too, we have a lot of chicken in here. So a little bit of something really uh, isn't a little bit in the grand scheme of things. So. All right, all of our chicken is now in here. We got some seasonings added and we are good to go. So what I'm gonna do next, grab our bowl here. Boy, that's heavy with one hand. <laughs> Come on, Ram, you need to step your game up. Okay, here we go. Grab it, got him. And we're gonna take it over here to the crock pot and place it in. That easy. Now I'm gonna get the lid and also put the lid on it. 
<laughs> a beginner's guide to using a crock pot, people. Okay, so my crock pot is now set up. Now, the reason I love this machine in particular is because once you set it, you can just kind of go do whatever and come back later and it'll be done. So the thing is with a crock pot too, if you don't have one yet, you're buying one, check out this. So there's a few settings here. Four hours on high, we'll cook this all the way. Eight hours on low, we'll also cook it all the way. So the way this works, it lets me cycle through these, right? Boom. So four hours, six hours, eight hours, 10 hours, or just to keep warm function, right? So the four and six are automatically high, eight and 10 are already low. And then once these times are done, so once it cooks for four hours, it'll automatically shift over to the keep warm function. It'll keep it warm for heck. I've had it literally keep it warm overnight before because I completely forgot, but four hours on high is what we're gonna do. So we have that in there and boom, that is literally all we gotta do. So. Now that the chicken's in there, right, I can go do whatever I want. <laughs> Within reason, right? I'm not gonna go rob a bank, but uh, I can go, you know, work, go to the gym, do whatever. I'm gonna come back even way after four hours and that's gonna be done and cooked. So I'm actually going to do what I just said. I'm gonna go get some work done, I'm gonna go to the gym, and then I will come back and finish off this video and show you guys how I prep and sort and all that stuff. So stay tuned, I will be back when this is done. All right, guys, it's officially been, what time is it now? Let's see, we got, I think I put these in at about, well, it's 8.07 now, I put these in right around like 3 p.m., so it's about five hours later, and we are done. You can see here, the keep warm light is on, and they're just sitting here. It's all done and chilling. Let's see how it looks. There we go. I don't want to get too close because I'll fog this lens up, but all the chicken is cooked. So let me show you something pretty cool with this. If I take a fork, right? Watch how tender this chicken is. Boom. Like that. See? Just kind of falls right apart. So it makes it really easy. You can stir it up in here and shred it, which is usually what I'll do. And then I'll sort it into containers. So let me get my meal prep containers and everything situated and I'll show you how I do it. All right, guys, check it out. We got a food scale here. I got all my meal prep containers, right? I don't know if I'll need this many. I assume I'll probably need this much. Maybe maybe one or two might go, or I might need one or two more, give or take. And then we also got all of our chicken here. I went ahead and shredded it up. So now what I'll usually do, since I each of my meals has about eight ounces of chicken in it, or at least uh, that's what I'm going to, that's about the best number for me personally. It's about 50-ish grams of protein, and I know that's usually what my serving size is. So that's gonna equate to about 224 grams. So I tear my scale out here, put that on there, make sure it's zero. Then I'll come in here, grab myself a spatula, spatula, I don't know what this is, a spoon, a, a ladle, a dripper, a baster, something, and then, Hold on. I'll get down in here, get myself a big old serving. Wow, see? And then I'll go here and place it in my container. So 158, right? So I'll go back in, we'll get a little bit more. Put it back in here. Like I said, I'm going for 224, so it's 192. Put that in there. All right, so 224 was our goal, 227 is close enough. So I know that's roughly eight ounces of cooked chicken, approximately 56 grams of protein here. So I'm gonna go ahead, fill the rest of these up, and I'll be right back. All right, we are part way through getting our meal prep and stuff sorted, but I was getting ready to throw these in the microwave real quick, right? I could have taken my rice cooker over there and made a big batch of rice for these, but my carbs, I don't really, uh, I'm not eating a lot of carbs right now on my lower carb days. My high carb days are reserved for my eating challenges. So I have this ready rice by Uncle Ben, 90 seconds in the microwave, and this will give me about four meals worth of rice. And then I have, this is probably here about five ounces of sweet potato. Uh, realistically, it's probably about one, maybe two servings for a couple of these meals, but these are both microwavable and really fast. So this is about seven minutes, that's about 90 seconds. So while I'm finishing these up, I'm gonna let these cook that way. I have full complete meals. So just wanna give you guys an update and show you these. These are awesome, microwavable, healthy. We have plain white rice and sweet potato, two of my go-to staples when I'm prepping meals. So just showing you that, guys. I'll be back. All right, and we are pulling the sweet potato out of the microwave. Be careful, because these are hot and the rice is actually done. So I was one container too many. So we ended up getting seven 224 gram chicken meals here. Now what I'll go ahead and do is take my rice here. We will open it up. And then typically what I'll do, since I already know the nutrition label on here, right? I can scan it into my fitness pal. And I know that there's two servings in the bag, but I really only want a quarter of it because there's there's 40 grams of carbs per serving. Two servings in the bag, 80 grams of carbs in this, but I only really want 20 grams per meal. What I'll do is I'll just split this up and eyeball it between my meals here since I already know I can scan it and add it in with my fitness pal. And I know that if one's a little over and one's a little under, it's not gonna matter in the grand scheme of things because at the end of the week, my macro is all evened out. So go ahead and add this into these. Cool, so that rice is now split up. And if you look, you can see that like, maybe there's a little more in this one, a little more in that one. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. If you want to, you can actually like even it out if you want. But I think that's majoring in the minor. I'm not gonna waste my time doing that. It's all good. I'll go ahead now and take my sweet potato, open it up. Now you can leave the skin on or take it off. It doesn't really matter. I tend to actually take it off, but it's really hot right now. So sometimes I'll eat it, sometimes I won't. 
but we'll go ahead and peel the skin off of this. Boom, get in here. So like I said, guys, microwave makes it so much easier because when you are baking them, man, that's like a 40 minute process, sometimes longer. So I like to do it this way. This is really hot, by the way, guys. Ah, okay, so we'll sit that there, get some of these extras here, and this will split up between two meals. So I'll take this, add it into that one. And then I actually weighed this out before I took the wrapper and stuff off, but it's about six ounces here, right? So I want about three per meal. So I know once again, I've weighed the whole thing. I know that if one's a little over, one's a little under. At the end of the week, all my macros are gonna even out anyways, even if they're slightly off. So I'll just split this up into a couple little meals here and boom. So let me show you what we're working with. So as you can see here, we got chicken and rice in these, chicken and rice in these, chicken and sweet potato in these. Now I have more of these sweet potatoes in my cupboard as well as more rice. So I'll go and do the rest of these, but I think you guys get the point here of how easy meal prep can be. So we got that much of it knocked out. This is how I like to do it because I just think it's way easier to do this way personally. Whatever makes this process the easiest is in my opinion, the best way to do it. Because if it's really complicated, you're not gonna wanna do it. So real quick though, you guys might be asking, what about the veggies? Here's the thing with veggies, guys. I don't prep my veggies really and put them in my containers. What I like to do, at least, at least in advance is what I mean. What I like to do is, I'll just show you these here. So we have all these frozen steam bags here, right? What I'll do in the morning, you can prep them out in advance if you want. But what I'll do is I'll take this, and in the morning before I know I'm gonna eat them, I will microwave steam bag these veggies and just put them in the meals as I go. But if you want to, you can do them in advance. I just work from home, so it's for me, it's just like I like my veggies as fresh as possible. But really, this these are frozen green beans here, for instance, seven minutes in the microwave, and these are done. Split them up between your meals, calculate your macros that way, super easy. I also have Brussels sprouts, broccoli, peas down in there, whatever I want to work. So that's how I personally meal prep, guys. Quick, simple, and easy. And there you have it, guys. We have a grand total of nine meals here. So all with eight ounces of chicken or 224 grams for my overseas subscribers. And uh, yeah, it's pretty quick, pretty easy, not much hands-on time really. Just had to chop the chicken up, put it in the old crock pot there and take it out do a couple little microwave things and we are good. So it is that easy guys. I'm gonna put this stuff in the fridge then I will see you off. And there we have it. Doesn't that look pretty guys? Knowing you have all that food just waiting there on you. Those are gains guys, gains that haven't happened yet. Cause you still have to digest them and turn them into muscle, you know, all that stuff. But those are, those are gains right there guys. Those are gains. Those uh, alcoholic drinks in the back that have been there for a year, those aren't gains. That's not gains. <laughs> None of that's gains, but that's gains. Those are gains, not gains, gains. Gains, 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 ketchup. All right, guys, that is gonna wrap up this video. I know this is no crazy high production values or anything like that, but uh, you know, I had to prep my chicken today and I figured, hey, why not make a quick video? Some of you guys benefit from this stuff. You know, I have so many new subscribers coming. Uh, if you watch my old vlogs, I've kind of prepared chicken in a lot of my vlogs, but this is, uh, you know, we have new subscribers and uh, they might benefit from it. So I figured, hey, why not make a video about it, right? So anyways, I need to go to the gym. It is officially like 8.30, so I'm, I'm running a little behind today, but I got all my work done, so it is what it is. We are good to go. And that food prep, though, it took me a little time today. It was gonna save me so much time in the future. Like I always tell people, if you fail to prepare, prepare to fail because especially if you're not the type like me, I have the luxury of working from my home, but some of you guys, you know, if you're traveling, you're out and about, you gotta prep your food because all it takes is to be really hungry, have no options for food, and you drive through McDonald's, you do this, you do that, you derail your diet, downward spiral, you guys know, you guys know. I've done it a million times, so I know you guys can probably relate a little bit. So prep your food out in advance, makes this whole lifestyle that much easier. But anyways, enough rambling. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. If you got some value out of it, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed to me, subscribe. There's tons more stuff, guys. So uh, thank you guys so much, as always. Don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you can make it better. With that, I'm out of here. This is Benny Remington James Production. I will see you guys at the next video. See ya.